request our beloved principal, Dr. A. G. Nadraj, to brief about our institution. Over to principal, sir. some net, some network issue so by the time just i'll brief about um, uh, here um, uh, so, so participants please uh, post your queries into the question and box in your zoom control panel and um, so regarding the uh, feedback and uh, certificate everything will be posted to your mail um, ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು Dr. N.V. Umar Reddy, head of the Department of uh, Computer Science and Engineering for organizing this event. I just wish to speak a few lines about my institution. Video is not coming, sir. Hello? Video yeah. is not coming. No, video is not coming. There may be some technical problems, sir. Hello? I do not know. Some technical yes, problems. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. AMC Engineering College is located... on a 52 acre green campus on banerghatta road in bangalore we offer seven undergraduate courses in engineering namely civil engineering mechanical engineering electrical engineering electronics and communication engineering computer science and engineering information sciences and engineering and mechatronics engineering from this year that is 2020 2021 we are starting a new branch that is artificial intelligence and machine learning with an intake of 60 and also aeronautical engineering with an intake of 60 because these two are considered as the emerging fields as per as aact and throughout the world and also government of karnataka has given around 5000 acres of land to start nscz on these two areas also we have six pg courses we have mba mca and we have 10 research centers in our institution and we have very good laboratory we have state of art laboratories we have a very good uh, infrastructure the infrastructure is about 10 lakh 10 lakh square feet of area has been built up we have a fantastic library which consists of 75000 volumes we have e journals we have seven patents in our kitty our institution have got more than 52 ranks in 
VTU examinations. Each department is having center of excellence. Yes, all the departments are doing good research. And we have published around 300 papers in peer-reviewed journals in this particular year itself. So with all these things, we are doing our bit to do good thing to the society with all my staff members. Our institution has been started by Dr. K. R. Paramahamsa. He is our chairman. And it has been, and Dr. Srimati Geeta Paramahamsa, vice chairman. Srimati Monika is our vice president. And Mr. Rahul Kalluri is our executive vice president. The speciality of our institution, it has been run by the educationists. All our committee members are, the trustees are highly educated. We are in this field from past three decades. We are doing our bit for this educational field. And today, this webinar is one of additional things we are doing from our institution. We thank Dr. Umar Reti and her team. And also I thank the guest speaker, Dr. S. Purnachandra. Thank you. And I hope each and everybody will be utilized by this particular webinar. Thank you, sir. Elargo Namaskar. Over Dr. Umar Reti. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Now I request our head of the department, Dr. N. V. Umar Reddy, to share a few words about the department in this platform. Please, sir. Very good morning uh, to all the participants. Uh, coming to the department, uh, AMC, EC, AMC Engineering College is accredited by NAC, NBA, and NRF ranking the band of 250 to 300. Department of ECE established in the year 1999. It is having UG and two PG programs, a UG with the intake of 190, accredited by NAC and NAC, uh, NBA. Two PG programs, VLSI and Embedded System and Digital Electronics and Communication Engineer. The department holds the vision to develop the outstanding electronics and communication engineer to meet the ever-changing society. With respect to the vision, uh, we have the, received a lot of awards and achievements in the department. The department has received 12 BTU ranks consistently, achieving its growth, received IST student chapter award, faculty chapter award, and best engineering college award, and indulged in IEEE student chapter, NPTE local chapter, IST professional body, and student chapter, and faculty chapter, institution chapter. Uh, department also received the funds from AACT, IST, BTU, TechU 1.3 to conduct the skill development programs, FDP, and at uh, hands-on session to the teaching and non-teaching staff. Um, we also have the technical club activities. Uh, with respect to technical club activities, we have a electronics lab uh, where regularly we are organizing the technical workshops, in-house internships, projects, uh, by the department of EC. Department has uh, uh, continuously having conducting one or one event as a technical event and to do the uh, better opportunity, make industry ready to the students. Uh, department are completed consultancy projects, funded projects from IEEE, IST, and IE. Uh, we increase the students and faculty for the certification courses uh, such as NPTEL, Coursera, AACT, MHRD, programs. And, uh, EC department is also have the research center uh, where there are 15 research scholars and in that two are already awarded. Um, once again, I welcome you all for this webinar and I also thank Dr. S. Purna Chandra for accepting our invitation and to take up this session. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Ma Before, Before we, we get started, started once, once again, again, I want, want to mention a few things that, that the, the participants, participants, if you have any questions during the presentation, please type them in the question box in your Zoom control panel. I'll bring them at the end of the presentation and we will also have time for questions at the end. We will send you all the relevant links after the event to the registered email ID. Now, without further ado, we will turn the time over to guest speaker, Professor Dr. S. Purnachandra. It is my privilege to introduce today's webinar guest speaker, Dr. S. Purnachandra. I am happy to introduce you, sir. 
Sir has received his bachelor degree in electronics and communication engineering from Mysore University, Karnataka in 1989, master degree in biomedical engineering from Mangalore University, Karnataka in 1994, PhD degree from Anna University, Tamil Nadu in 2007. He started his career during 1990 and having experience of different academic positions from professor, head of the department, dean academic, dean IQAC to principal during his 30 years of expertise. He has delivered special lectures and webinars with the titles starting from GATE, Digital Signal Processing to IQAC, Outcome-Based Education, Research Strategies and Methodologies, E-Learning in Teaching Learning Process and many more. He is having national and international publications of more than 34 journals and 40 plus conference proceedings. He has also published about 12 books in the field of electronics, circuits, digital signal processing, biomedical signal processing, and etc. He is a peer review member and editorial member for more than 20 journals like IEEE Signal Processing Letter, IEEE Transaction on Signal Processing. He has guided more than 40 UG and PG projects. Under his guidance, four research scholars completed their PhD from Anna University, and two scholars are pursuing their PhD. He is having two patents in his credit. He has done seven projects worth of rupees around 35 lakhs funded by different agencies like KSCST, DST, ICMR, and UGC. He has received many awards like Best Teacher Award, Best Paper Award, Best Educator Award by Marcus Who's Who in Science and Engineering, Distinguished Alumni Award by Manipal University, Albert Nelson Marku Lifetime Achievement Award by Marcus Who's Who, Best Re Reviewer Award by Elsevier. He is a fellow member of IT IETE, fellow member of Institute of Engineers, and a life member of Indian Society for Technical Education. He is a BOS member of Anna University, Chennai, and SNS College of Techn Technology. I have expressed only success achievement. He is having a very rich and lengthy profile. We are honored by your presence on this occasion, sir. Over to Purnachandra, sir. Sir, please. Thank you, madam. Can I share my screen? Uh, uh, yes, sir. And the screen is visible, madam? Ah, yes, sir, visible, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, one and all. I, first of all, let me thank uh, Dr. Kavita for uh, giving me this opportunity to share my experience as a in uh, internal quality assurance. As I, uh, as she rightly said, uh, I spent around eight to nine years uh, in uh, quality assurance as a dean and uh, before taking up many higher positions at all. And actually, uh, in most of the actually before start with the actual presentation, let me give insight about that. The quality. This is a beautiful word which uh, really matters in education system. The any colleges which loses or which not given importance to quality is going to die soon. Even uh, sometimes you might have heard that the IITs lost their place in uh, QS ranking over a time that it was above 400. Then the government took the serious uh, uh, discussion. And now we are able to see our uh, IIT enter in uh, something like between 150 to 200. And this has been possible only because uh, we have taken a very important measures toward the quality in publishing paper, the quality of a project, which we are converting as a patent and a product. So the quality is something which is cannot be compromised actually. And the role of IQAC is Excuse not. Me, sir. But, yes, madam. Uh, sir, your audio is very low, a little bit. Uh, 
I think uh, it is uh, it is correct. Now is audible, madam? Uh, yes, sir. Now it's audible, right? Uh, okay. Yes, okay. Okay. I'll come near to the system. Okay. So actually, the quality is the one which uh, we need not compromise in education system, and it should be isolated from everyone. And when it comes to IQAC, uh, in my definite, though the NAC has defined IQAC, that's what I'm going to discuss at the initial stage. The NAC has a clear definition of IQAC. But still, what I personally feel is the IQAC is supposed to be an independent body. It is only talking about the quality of each and every process involved in education system. And uh, it is supposed to be isolated. Even I can, uh, in a honest sense, I can say that we should not have the shadow of even principal also. It's supposed to be a separate entity, standalone entity, which is only talking about whether the quality is maintained at the every stages, even when we are scripting a document, the quality has to be maintained. So when we are sending the proposal, the quality of the proposal has to be maintained. Then who is going to take care of all these things? Actually, when somebody is writing a proposal and people are not showing much interest in all, and who is going to evaluate the, the proposal quality and who is going to correct this quality? Because since the quality is not being addressed in most of the colleges, what happens is people are submitting the uh, many pay proposals and it is not get qualified. So this quality has to be taken very seriously in higher education system because we know that government is very keen in improvising the skill based education system over a time. So in every stage when we try to maintain quality, this is very important. Then now uh, let us see uh, the, the purpose of IQAC. This is actually, it is mainly to improve the academics and administrative performance. Administrative means uh, in all the administrative, that what uh, I'm going to discuss because you'll understand what is meant by administration we were at the end of the presentation. Academics, as we know that the teaching learning practice. So if, the, if you introduce a quality benchmark at every stage of our teaching learning process, then what happens is the quality performance of the student improves and hence the quality of the college also improves. Second, it assures, it gives a guarantee that uh, our college is giving a quality education to our student. And when the students get quality education, naturally the placement companies are coming forward to recruit them. And when these people, this is something like a chain reaction where the quality is going to initialize all the activities Finally, we are going to get good intake as well as good support from the stakeholder. And uh, it's a very important that there should be a strategies. Actually, what is the strategies of IQAC? It is something like uh, the main strategy of IQAC is, is, is analyzing the progress of academics, administrative and financial tasks, and the quality of academic and research program and academic program for various sections of this is called what we call as the extension activities. This is the activities. The first one is purely academic. The second one is talking about academic research or a pure research. The third one is an extension activities or extracurricular activities, which really finds an application to the society. And also integration of modern method for teaching learning practice where the students get involved than the convention teaching learning and accountability of evaluation process. This is very, very important. These are the major strategies that IQSC has to take into consideration when they are designing the, uh, what do you say, is a white note. And uh, sharing the research sharing uh, uh, and network with other institutions in India and abroad. Uh, this is very important because now you know that most of the university in abroad, they like to uh, collaborate in research and all. Then the question is arises, who is going to coordinate all these things? Actually, is it the role of research coordinator? And if it is a role of research coordinator, who is going to monitor whether the research coordinator is going in a coherent way or in a quality way? So there should be some entity in the institution which is supposed to talk about all these things. So now we'll let us see the function of IQAC. And when it comes to the function of IQAC, the first function is to develop the benchmark, quality benchmark for academic and administrative purpose. We'll see each and everything in detail in the later stage. I'm just highlighting the function and 
function of IQAC. So the IQAC is supposed to design because it has to identify various checklists, various process in, involved in academics as well as administration. And also they have to say a very simple example. We are recommending for faculty development program. So now the IQAC is supposed to decide what are the college to which we can send our student faculty members. Because many times what happens, it is going, going to something like a win-win condition where the faculty may be having someone in their neighbor college. He wanted to see him. So naturally he said that you just uh, put my name there. They'll go and they'll simply attend the morning session. Afternoon they'll do the well. So this something like there's a compromise. But when we think about when we fix IQAC a benchmark, like, no, no, this college is decided that the faculty can go to uh, FDP only in NITs and IITs. So, and they have to submit the report and the report supposed to be in this format and daily report has to be submitted. So like that, if they give something like a benchmarks and the quality markers, that is what you call it as a markers, then what happens is each and every person will be initially, it may be a little bit of reluctance from the faculty because they think that don't they can't re rely on the believers and all. And over a time, they'll get into the system. When the people are getting to the system, what happens is documentation automatically takes place. Otherwise, what happens is whenever we talk about NBN Act, then only we make all the faculty to sit throughout the night and do the documentation work. And this is the first failure of most of the college that it is something like in Sanskrit, we have the proverb that Yuddha Kale Shastra Basit. Something like only when there is a war, we are going to practice thing. So this is what happening in India. Actually, the IQAC is the one which ensures that each and activity is quality controlled, documented and put it in a presentable manner. If they does it regular basis, what happens is whatever aggregation people are coming to our campus, we need not go for any preparation. We can simply display this is our system. This is our process. This is how we are going then everything will be fine. There will be less stress on the faculty members. And otherwise, what they do, is they'll sacrifice their family and they'll sit throughout the night in the college, in the house and all. And then there's a lot of flaws in the document. And think question arises, who is going to validate the uh, document? Then we, we say that we hire people from outside to very validate our own document. So when you have an internal quality assurance set, that is the main role of this is each and every document supposed to go through IQAC before it get into the databases. So this is what we say the development of quality benchmark for academics and dissemination of information. These are very, very informing, very important. Actually, most of the people, they say that we are not getting any information about other departments. We are not getting any information. So the information dissemination is a prime problem in most of the big colleges and all. So the, if, if that's the case, if all the information, all the activities of the department goes to the IQAC, IQAC will be clearly defined a system wherein the information will be decimated, not only in the department, it goes to the stakeholders also. They'll take care of that. And the thing is, it also defines organizational uh, workshops, seminar, conference, and quality-related themes and promotion of quality. Actually, it also because it is something like how you uh, now webinar is conducted by Department of Computer Science Engineering. Similarly, IQAC is supposed to conduct a lot of workshops, seminar conferences and quality related themes and to promote the quality circles. And in a way, this is also this webinar is also supposed to be supported by IQAC if it is there in the institution and documentation of various program are activities leading to quality. This is where most of the colleges are failed. Actually, they they document, they do, document when they'll file it. They are not documenting. Documenting and filing is entirely different. Something like filing means whatever piece of paper you have, you put it in a file. That's all. Put a, put a signature, keep it in a file. Documentation is not like that. Documentation means it has a format. The, if you say the documentation is supposed to have a reference number, so suppose if I take the reference number and if I see the document in all the department, that reference number holds good with the same typical type of documents. So that it is almost like touching ISO also in a way. So the, the dean of IQAC is supposed to have a little bit knowledge about ISO also. 
then only the documentation process is also important. It also can be implemented. So the documentation plays a vital role. This is what happens in most of the colleges that they started doing the documentation only when the accreditation committee started and announced that they're coming. Otherwise, they sleep. They simply say that I have done because, example, we are going to some FTP program outside and we simply get the OD and OD, it will be sanctioned by HOD and approved by the principal. Over. Then, who is taking care of their report? And what is what is supposed to be there in the report? What are the content is essential? Whether, when, when see, actually he is going to the faculty development program representing the college or a department whether the knowledge has been decimated to the other faculty, whether the knowledge has been decimated to the students. And when the knowledge is not being decimated to this faculty, other faculty and the student, there is a, what is the point in sponsoring a candidate from the college? So most of the college, what happened is the faculty is going to the program and he put the credits in his resume and the real credit will not be transferred to the college faculty members, not the students. And this where the IQAC plays a role, so it will give something like uh, each and every activity participated must be decimated in the campus, so that not that everybody may be interested, but definitely ten percent of the people get benefited by the knowledge acquired by the person from outside colleges. And then, what is the outcome of education? The actually IQAC is only talking about. Outcome of education, it is something like, I think most of the college members here are experienced with NAC and NBA. They know that uh, outcome-based education. When we say outcome-based education, we should know what is outcome of education. The first outcome, what we are talking about is something like a knowledge. Whether the outcome of education, I'm taking classes and at the end of the semester, I'm going to evaluate the student and my question is, whether my student able to get the knowledge or not. I have clearly defined this is a knowledge I want to transfer, whether the student got the knowledge or not. This is the first outcome and the intelligence competency. So whether the intelligence of the student has been in improved and who is going to measure how they're going to measure and whose work is this? Then interpersonal competency. This is very important. Most of our students failed in something like a recruitment. Why? Because their interpersonal competence is very, very poor. And emotional intelligence, this is very, very important because it, you can see this one during the university examination, something like a viva. And most of the college now that they mention, make that a viva is only 10 marks. So naturally this, uh, that emotional intelligence might, might not have played well. But when it comes to something like a recruitment process, it plays a while because when the students sit before the HR and totally he'll be upset and his body language will be entirely different. And even the class also, emotional intelligence is very important because when you ask question, when you pose a question, not that all the students are able to answer because many students, because there are two reasons. One, I don't know the answer, I'm not answering. I know the answer, but I'm hesitant to answer. Yeah, and, connected with hotspot. You connected Kavita in the meantime. And uh, emotional intelligence is very important because the student who knows the knowledge, who knows the uh, answer, but is not expressive. So there, the emotional intelligence plays into. So this has to be addressed. So this has to be over. Once he graduate after four years, he is supposed to have the emotional intelligence. Then integrity is very very important, and uh, motivation. He must be motivated to drive himself independently at, at the end of fourth year. And he has to be motivated, self-motivated, because initially we try to motivate. Once he get into the corporate world, there is nobody will be available to motivate him. It has to be self-motivated. So who is going to give the training and all? Only the department supposed to give the department. So these are the outcome that we supposed to think. So these six component has to be understood by IQAC and they have to bring it in our curriculum and other activities. And you know that graduate attributes and all, this was well defined by NBA. It is something like the person who who's graduated from an institution need to have engineering knowledge. This is a very basic first attribute and he's supposed to capable of, he's capable of 
analyze any problem which is given to him and he is able to design and develop the solution to the problem posed to him and this is not only this is actually graduate attributes mean it is a basic character because when we say who is engineer the question arises who is an engineer because this is i since i am i i believe that most of the participants from engineering college i am mentioned the otherwise i can say that college who is the graduate who is an engineer so what is the how do i know that is an engineer so when i define you so the nbs clearly defined that if the person had 12 attributes 12 character okay then we can say him engineer otherwise he is not an engineer and this how whether he is able to is having engineering knowledge whether he is capable of solving the problem on his own whether he is able to design and develop the solution to the problem and this is very important the conduct conduct of investigation of a, a complex problem because because actually as far as the syllabus is concerned the problem is very clear it is given the textbooks and all but when he enter into the corporate world or something like a professional uh, area the problem is undefined it may be simple it may be very complex also he must have the capacity to investigate the complexity of the problem and find the solution and for that what we say is it said this there is a beautiful word called critical thinking that is only when the student is trained in critical thinking analysis then he is able to investigate the complexity of the problem he is able to give the solution to the complex problem and whether the student able to work on a model tools that is that there is a latest tool how many tools each student knows so if you take a simple uh, survey when we come and take the survey of a fine year student and say that name the number of name the software which you are very something like a, at a beginning level medium expert level and all you can hardly find even handful of student who say that i have expert level in this language that means the problem is the students are not confident in using a modern tools so this has to be rectified and there is a bondage we all know that there is a bondage between engineer and the society because government of india when they started engineering colleges in district and within the district and all they mainly say that the engineering college supposed to develop this society as a community or a society so there should be a bondage between engineer and a society whatever he develop whether it's a research patent or something like a product or a project what not may be there should be something like a implication in the society that means it has to have an influence in the society and especially for the rural society this is what we say and if the engineer supposed to have a complete conscious about environment and sustainability because many times we devel develop certain cards and all it is not environmental friendly so the actually the best example when we take mobile the intention of mobile the invention the intention of the invention of mobile was very simple but it is developed to the extent that it becomes very hazardous nowadays so we are not able to curb, curb the problem environmental issue due to mobile so the engineer supposed to have a clear picture how the student supposed to have a knowledge about environment how to preserve the environment and how the human entity is linked with the environment so we have to preserve so when we develop the technology the environment has to be retained at a preserve so this has to be known and ethics it's very very important i find very very less people goes with the values and ethics and all because they are ready to do any work giving giving up their value, ethics and values and all so this is a high time because we they we, we cannot take a wrong person as a reference say that whether they are ethical or not because it's a something like a wrong question to be posed the question is whether i am ethical or not is very important rather than whether my per per person who is standing before me is ethical or not if everybody think that i am ethical then whole world become ethical so we have to train the student that he must be ethical he should not give it the professional ethics or a moral ethics and very important attribute that is individual and a team work and how both both are looks like something like opposite individual is a working individually team work is growing so actually individual means he is able to lead independently 
and something something like a seminar organizing skill suppose if you want to do some if you want to organize he is supposed to capable of taking the work independently and work and teamwork he is supposed to join with the team he is supposed to know how his subordinate has to be treated and how to get the work from the subordinate happily this is the teamwork and this we are generally do with the projects actually individual we do in a presentation and teamwork we generally encourage in laboratory lab classes and in a major sense we are doing in a project and communication is very very important actually most of the people because this is what i received from uh, industry people that almost like a 50 to 60% of the student unable to communicate what they thinking and uh, this is actually leads to psychological problem also and the project management in finance and actually uh, we uh, it is a very interesting to discuss here that uh, uh actually finance uh, many people they ask in what way finance is come in picture for the students in the engineering college definitely because when we during the project uh, generally how i and the project uh, review is uh, the students supposed to identify the topic and it has to be supposed to justify that whether the project uh, we selected uh, will be uh, research oriented or a patented or a product and he when before he start the project he is supposed to know what is the finance involved in that whether the team people can able to afford the total expenditure of the project and most of the time what we found is the people start the project without knowing the financial expenditure then finally at the middle they say that sir it's very costly we are unable to hire uh, we are unable to produce so we'll start the project itself so intermediate they'll wind up since it's the neck of the minute most of the faculty member compromises in the quality then everything goes so when the when they are not clear about the finance then there also we are compromising the quality and lifelong learning is very essential you know better and this is what the graduate attributes mean and if any student who is going out of the college if he possesses all these 12 attributes then we say engineers now each and every area iqac is thinking very seriously and how to impart teaching learning and engineering knowledge and whether the faculty is able to give the problem for the analysis whether he is giving a solved problem to the student to solve once again or whether he is giving a problem which is to be real problem something like a realistic problem is there so something biomedical we can say that uh, something like a hand free sanitizer or you, know, you can give it as an assignment so they can do this as a project so like that when we give the real time project he will be having a bondage with the society and uh, what are the program outcome this is uh, other version uh, but i think i don't want to give much insight about program outcome which you people are knowing so same thing the graduate attributes is once again given in the similar way and now it's very important that they because when the student are they are the stakeholders and the first stakeholder for our college is student and when the students comes what are the skill set that we are so actually the iqac is supposed to ensure that whether the student going out of the college is possessing this skill set first one is communication very important whether our students are able to communicate properly whether his language is good whether he we are able to understand what he want to convey and second thing is problem solving skill is very very important and uh, any student who is going out to the college is capable of solving any problem we pose this is the confidence that supposed to the faculty supposed to have critical thinking this is what i am telling unless you develop practice the critical thinking uh, capacity then he is unable to solve complex problem so it is a simple problem and a complex problem if it is a simple problem it is a solve problem solving skill that is he will be trained in solving the problem it's okay critical thinking is something different you cannot uh, forecast this is the problem so it is an unforecasted problem for that only the basic intelligence is important and the positivity of the person is very important assessment skill this is not only for student even the faculty also they are able to assess the people properly it is very very essential that the swat of uh, faculty swag of student has to be taken every semester it has to be tested and it's supposed to be done through feedback mechanism and that is the work of iqac iqac is supposed to take the swag of each and every faculty and they have to give the recommendation the gray area of the faculty and they have to facilitate them to improvise their standard 
and the awareness of community as i really told whatever you develop in the name of project don't um, don't make the students to take the project just to get the degree certificate because he spent nearly 4 years and he supposed to do out of that 4 years knowledge he is supposed to do something to the community whether he is capable of doing something to the community then is a blessed and also organization skill is very important these are the skill set that is iqs is supposed to ensure that these are the six skill set has been developed and what are the action plan this is the major now i'll get into the iqs in detail the action plan is strategic development that is the first one whether iqc has a clear strategic plan for departments at every stage as and all and how do we develop that that i'm going to and whether it is implemented if it is implemented who is monitoring how do you monitor how do you check the feedback how do you evaluate that's important then taking the feedback from the stakeholder because whatever we do ultimately the stakeholder supposed to be very happy so are we taking feedback from the stakeholder are we analyzing the feedback real sense because we generally do the feedback analysis only for nac and npa and real sense actually we never see that this feedback gives vital values to us because there are very area here where we need to improvise this information we get the feedback and if it's a very very small things if you correct where and there then what happens is the major problem on institution never comes as a overheads and recommendation iqs is supposed to after analyze the feedback it has to give the recommendation and once it is recommended it has to be filed documented very simple sense and we are go for a swag that's very very important already i told we never do the swag analysis of the faculty every year we take the appraisal but appraisal question is mainly talking something like whatever you are able to achieve and it has supposed to talk about its strength weakness opportunity and challenges and uh, there should be something like a counseling the iqc is supposed to give a recommendation for counseling if it is there so there is something like a challenging things is available and uh, next uh, when it comes quality circle this is very how iqc actually uh, most of the time uh, in my sense actually in most of the college uh they create an iqc they see the nac guideline and they create the iqc and the iqc will be having external ex expert because they clearly define and uh, they have a top level management naturally there is a one representation from management in the iqc and they'll select the internal expert to the iqc this is this is what people are talking about iqc but in the real sense in the real sense whether this iqc if i have this member send out can we execute iqc systematically actually my question my answer for this question is no and this is what my experience because in my experience having three set of people we cannot implement iqc that's the reason why in 99% of the college failed implementing iqc in a full fledged manner because they say that what's the need of iqc hod is taking care of everything and they know everything even hod sometimes debate on that i know everything i have great experience and even principal argues like that in colleges and all uh, i know everything i have something like 30 years experience i have 35 experience don't i know that quality and all and all but question is whether do you concentrate only on quality every time no answer is no because principal will have lot of administration work and universities work and all in that he cannot check the quality of each and every document he can only take the sample and if the and we are very intelligent for the any document which is very good that only we forward to principal then we say that our department is prepared and when it comes to aggregation during the aggregation process we fail to get a good uh, ranking something like a plus or a plus plus and all and we go with the sorry figure and we never accept there was a mistake because this is how even we plan something that when the aggregation time team comes we highly select the files we never we don't have the uh, something like a courage to uh, say that you take any file it will be quality definitely not we select we identify some faculty who is very keen in file maintenance and we keep those file in the front and we also ensure that the expert member go and pick only those files 
otherwise we try to give the file in hand also so that we say that it is quality actually we are only cheating the quality in the name of quality we are cheating actually this is not sufficient we need to have something like iqac system so what is iqac system it has academic coordinator and research coordinator exam coordinator activity coordinator infrastructure coordinator industrial linkage coordinator training and placement coordinator website newsletter and scholarship and public relations coordinator so actually this is how i brought in the iqac system is and from 2012 i worked with this model actually these members actually the same system available in each and every department that means it is not though we are establishing iqac in the college level even in the department level we need to have a chief iqac under that these are the coordinator and these coordinators are responsible for validating the or fixing the benchmark and validating monitoring evaluating their department files and and that has to be given to the chief iqac and each chief iqac of the department supposed to report to the dean of college iqac and and when it comes to this we can see the expert member and all and here the principal there is no chairman in this member only the iqac is the chairman the dean of iqac is the chairman principal is going to be one of the internal expert member and management person is also one of the internal member hod is our internal member member secretary and department iqac coordinator external you supposed to have a school principal university nominee external expert nominee industry nominee international expert parent nominee student ministers so this put together this is what we say that a quality circle and this quality circle has to be installed in each and every college now we'll see the goal of i the first goal is the vision of the department and to my knowledge many times the people copy the vision of some other college and they do a word game and they develop the real sense the vision is something like you know that vision can be revised it is very simple definition vision need not be permanent for 10 to 15 years it can be at least you supposed to have very great vision to be fulfilled say example now you are taking care of say department something like a biomedical or a ec whatever it may be you should have a clear picture about what for this department has been developed and who are the stack stakeholder my stakeholder is my student the second stakeholder is something like a industry and third stakeholder is something like a society we have three stakeholders and we are teaching and to fulfill that stakeholder what type of training we are going to give that is going to be our vision and how i am going to take and the mission is nothing but the step the step by step procedure through which i want i am going to fulfill my vision so there should be a clear clarity between a vision of the department and vision and once the vision is attained after 8 years then the vision can be revised and to my knowledge most of the college never revised vision for more than 15 years because they have not attained the vision which dreamt even after 15 years that means they are not having any clear pathway to take the department to meet the vision of the college or it and for that the strategies of the department is very important and what is strategy so every year the hod is supposed to give these are the actually there are various i am going to discuss all these things and all and various components will be there iqac components are there and each and every component will be having something like a quality as well as a quantity number of activities to be done and the quality of the activity will be defined and based on that just we have to do the squack of the department faculty based on that hod is supposed to create that say example simple example so for year 2020 21 department of computer science engineering or a department of ece is going to do 10 extension activities so this is my strategy this is for this benchmark my strategy is each and every faculty will do one extension activities so hardly in 12 months each faculty need to do only one 
extension activities. But as far as the department is concerned, if the department strength is 12, then my department has 12 extension activities. And if my college is having six department, then six into 12, we have more than 70 extension activities. Now tell me what's the need for manipulations. So file manipulation is not necessary. So now thing is, who is going to monitor? So whether the department is successful, suppose whether they are forgotten, who is going to remind them? And when they're executing, whether they're, who is going to check the quality of this execution? Because when the aggradation comes, when it comes to NAC, MBA, they see the quality of the process. And who is going to speak? Actually, many colleges, what they do is they never do the quality process. And finally, in one month, they take a coaching class for the faculty. You have to speak like this. Why you want to go like that? Instead, if the faculty has been doing this work regularly, you need not train the faculty. Even many colleges, they're training the students how to speak in front of expert members. It is not necessary because once the department is executing in a quality manner, when you ask the student, he saw because you know that whatever he experienced, student experience and saw in the department, he's going to explain. So there is no harm in that. So only when your IPS is installed in the department with 100% freedom or autonomous condition, it is possible. And each department is supposed to have a short-term goal. That is short-term goal means any goal to be completed within two to three years. And you should ensure that there should be something like a checklist for each and every goal. And we should be something like a three months once it has to be evaluated and SWAC has to be done and correction measure has to be done. And this has to be done ridiculously. So then long-term goal, that is something like uh, your vision. One of the long-term goal is your vision, whether you are able to attain your vision or not, and SWAC analysis. These are the goal we're supposed to keep mostly. And now we'll see the role of each and every coordinators. Now, who is the chief IQSC coordinator and what is his role? First role of chief IQSC coordinator is preparing the quality benchmarks in every segment teaching, learning, activity, exam, something like uh, research, consultancy, every aspect, placement, training, everywhere, we should create a quality benchmark. You should meet something in placement, let me say like this. So the college is supposed to take a decision that the placement officer should not bring any company who is giving salary of less than 10,000 rupees per month. Fix it. That's all. So then if you give that quality benchmark, the placement officer is supposed to search for a company which offers more than 10,000 rupees only salary. So like that, each and every uh, coordinator has to fix the benchmark. Then only people start thinking above benchmark only. When there is no benchmark in a college, then what happens is people will bring people, uh, companies and all. Finally, when we are not happy, because when an aggregation comes, they say that, your average salary is very poor, then we put put down your head. Because there is no answer in that. Because we have worked for four, four years, that cannot be changed because it's uploaded, so it becomes a documentation. Now you cannot speak anything wrong because you have put it in NIRF, you have put it in NAC, you put it in your university website, you have put it in NBA, everywhere you are given the document. Now you cannot. So for rectification, you have to wait for another three to four years. So when the IQS is there, each and every, so this can principal do all these things? Definitely not, because you cannot find that end of. So the IQS is very important. Second is monitor. Who is monitoring the quality process? That they continue the chief IQS coordinator is supposed to continuously monitor the quality process and design the feedback mechanism and analyze the report, do the SWAC, call them, counsel the faculty, and do the remedial work. Maintain the institution database centrally. It's a very big problem when we go for aggregation. We are unable to find the document for three years before document, four years before department. They said faculty says, sir, 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 that faculty left the college and uh, I think he didn't give the file. Over. Because when a faculty is relieving the get relieved from the college and uh, we really do not know what the document has to be collected. Whatever the faculty said, it's okay, okay, okay. HOD says, okay, principal signs. But if there is a clear benchmark, and if the process goes to the hands of IQAC, it clearly says that because it says that, no, this document is incomplete. Complete the document, then you can leave. So like that, it has to central. And then only the document will be taken. 
and the document has to be kept in a centralized manner. So whenever there is a ranking, NIRF ranking, or a India Today ranking, or NBA, NAC, and all, we never lose any documents. Everything will be intact in a single area. And whenever required during the aggregation process, that data could be transferred to the department and taken back safely to the custody of the IQAC. And arranging IQAC audit at the end of each semester is very important. That is, a, he has to plan and organizing IQAC quarterly meeting. That's very important because this is very important because the people who has already got a NAC, they know that they have submitted AQR. And many times what happens in the AQR is nothing but the uh, combination of quarterly meeting reports and the outcomes. And many people that doesn't know all these things and all. So what they do is they, they never do quarterly meeting. And finally, at the end of the year, they simply create a document that as if they have done a quarterly meeting. And they do some document will be entered in the AQR. And what happens is now the NAC is very clear. Whatever day data you're giving, what are the activity data you're giving in AQR will be summarized. And that going to be the cycle two data. And please keep it in your mind that you cannot change any data in cycle two because that time you cannot do even a single manipulation of data because knowingly or unknowingly you would have given some data through AQR. So be careful about that and coordinating aggregation, the total aggregation process and a ranking process will be the control of IQAC only. And this is IQ. And chief IQAC called scheduling the monthly IQAC. Actually every month the HOD is supposed to present their report because beginning of the semester, HOD would have given a strategic plan of the department. And every month IQAC is checking whether the mentioned strategic plan is attained or completed. If they attain, it is good. If it is not completed, they should give the deviation report. Why it is not possible? Suppose if it requires extra time, the IQAC will be sanctioning the time so that it will be completed in time. Otherwise, they should, if they want to withdraw the strategic plan which they have submitted, it is a long process. They should give the report for withdrawing that. So when it goes that, then what happens is most of the HODs are giving a very clear strategic plan about the department and implement it. And scheduling the semester department semester department plan, attainment of previous, during that, we are comparing the previous attainment with the next attainment, and we keep going in a positive direction. And appraisal form analysis is very important because we know the SWAC of each and every faculty and it will be called, and proper counseling could be given because after all, the appraisal is not damaging the faculty member. It should not be. It's not something like a, something like a time bomb. It should not be. Appraisal should not be something. It should be something faculty supposed to happy to fill the film because there are many things which you could not do. So the psychiatrist is supposed to I call them and they should facilitate him to improvise so that next time when he fill the appraisal, he must be in the positive direction. And let us see the academic coordinator role. The first academic coordinator role is monitoring the teaching learning process, complete teaching learning process whether the faculties are regularly using pedagogy in the classroom, various pedagogies are there. And when you are writing the lesson plan itself, the pedagogy has to be clearly defined. And the IQAC academic coordinator should ensure that each and every faculty will go to the classes with the predefined pedagogy and it will be demonstrated. And think about this way. If this is really practiced in the class and when the NAC is coming to the class, the student is going to tell what is happening in the class. So you need not train the student. And counseling is very important. And monitoring the use of Bloom's taxonomy in the teaching. Actually, people are, there's one confusion that Bloom's, Bloom's taxonomy is mainly for the question paper setting. It is not the case. Bloom's taxonomy should be used during the classroom teaching also because uh, generally in the classroom, we are only explain the concept. So the student thinks that this is only a theory paper. Actually, there is a design also. So when we are expressing the question, when we are asking the question to the students, don't ask question like explain this, explain this, explain this, because this is the zero level, first level Bloom's taxonomy. Actually, you should that, okay, you give the distinguished character, you evaluate, you find, uh, you design and develop. Like this, when you use this word in your classroom teaching, and when you ask the same question in university exam question paper, the student able to understand the meaning of that. 
otherwise what happens in the classroom regularly we never use all these words and all the taxonomy words and all but just because there is a nat and nba we are using the bloom's words in our question paper then the student will be get confused in the examination and though he know the answer he could not answer it because he not he didn't understand what the evaluator expected to write on paper and time table is the role of academic coordinator individual department academic audit has to be done at the every semester end and where course file has to be checked and the quality of study material and lab manuals has to be checked and most of the time what we found is lab manuals are not quality most of the lab manuals have lot of flaws and all and who is going to test who is going to check it so hyqsi has to take special effort to identify the expert send the document to the expert get it evaluated and corrected once you develop a quality manual like how industry is preparing a quality manual then next to four years because till the revision of the syllabus you can use the same manuals and it can be bounded and circulated to students and scheduling of class committee meeting is another role of uh, uh, people and scheduling the parent teacher meeting is another and uh, then then academic coordinator another work is benchmark of academic guest lecture this is a very important actually uh, when we are identifying the resource person uh, it is better to identify a quality resource person to the college because uh, in many college i found that when abdul kalam visits our college we put the photo and with the signature we hang on the wall because it attracts the stakeholder that means the people will be happy seeing Abdul Kalam has visited the college, right? So we are encashing the uh, visit of a eminent person. So if IQS is clearly defined, suppose if if you invite resource person from IIT, NIT, or uh, something like a Nobel laureates or the person who has name is uh, appeared in Hindu or something else, then what happens is when committee come for NAC and aggregation, they'll be stunned. They say that oh, is it uh, okay? Visited your college? Okay, okay. Then they see that this college is encouraging more and more good people to visit, and so that the student will be exposed. And the quantity of guest lecture, how many guest lecture can be arranged? This will be decided by the IQAC. The clearly it has to be because most of the time we never define the number of guest lecture and all. So in the strategic plan itself, we should give it clearly give that. this year we are going to organize this number of guest lecture and how do we de decide the guest lecture guest lecture supposed to decide on the toughness of the subject
is it two? Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whether we are, we are, you are able to view, madam? Yes, sir. You can able to view, sir. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Part. Uh, extremely sorry because there was a trouble in my computer. I'm extremely sorry. So let me go for the next one. Is uh, academic uh, recommendation like uh, uh, because uh, when we uh, people are coming for uh, recommendation for faculty development program, seminar, workshop, and all, there should be a benchmark has to be created by the IQAC, and because uh, Uh, we know that uh, even uh, nba nac and all if the faculty come with a certificate of one day seminar attended or one day fdp uh, i uh, your nac is not accepting it there is no marks for that actually the faculty need to attend minimum 2 to 3 days 6 to 8 days so only then we get one marks or a two marks so this has to be understood by someone and should clearly define that one day fdp is not permitted minimum 3 days is required or 10 days so like this we have to and online certificate program also we should see that there are lot of online certificate program is coming but only thing is who is validate whether it is really quality or not this has to be checked properly and when it comes to academic feedback uh, we have to take the academic from the stakeholder and remedial classes and monitoring the remedial classes and we may say the advanced learners whether we are conducting any activity for that and are we conducting course coordinator meeting because course coordinator meeting is very important actually let me take simple example of, of uh, engineering graphics and you know that engineering graphics is common for all the department and uh, if each and every department because something sometimes what happens is uh, civil department is uh, conducting uh, engineering graphics mechanical is conducting if you have aeronautical aeronautical also conduct the engineering graphics but when it comes to the quality that is something the uniformity of the uh, course material and all it is not actually and when it comes to question paper setting it is not uniform but only in the internal exam but when it comes to university exam it is going to be a single question paper so that time there will be a problem so the course coordinator supposed to meet and they have to discuss and they have to go in a same phase and if there is something there should be a regular meeting should be conducted and now let us take the infrastructure coordinator the major role of infrastructure coordinator is to preparing the budget and maintaining the database of vendors and this vendor has to be evaluated and it has to be approved so we generally say that approved vendor list and this vendor must be checked against their quality product as well as service whether they are able to give service at any interval of time and the duration which they take to serve service the instrument is also important and also procurement and make, uh, procurement and maintenance of instruments is also a duty of infrastructure coordinator and stock entry actually there should be two stocks one is actually generally there are three level of stocks are there the first one is as it comes to the college there is a master stock where all this will come to the college from there it will go to the department and even in the department there should be a master stock and this master stock will take care of all the entry and from there it has to go to the respective laboratories or a respective faculty members so when the in infrastructure coordinator when this it has to be maintained by infrastructure coordinator and like it has a in lab instrument furniture electrical and many times we say that no 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 this is not the duty of a department it is a duty of estate officer it is not the case actually when the management is giving some like furniture fan and all it becomes an asset it is something like uh, uh, when we take the uh, rented house uh, the owner would have fitted a fan then afterwards you cannot say that no 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 that is not my i don't want to maintain it is a responsibility of the owner we cannot say like that once we become the tenant we supposed to service it when it is damaged similarly the instrument electrical item is given to the department and it has to be service otherwise suppose either you should send the vendor or you should give it to the estate officer who is going to check whether this is in correct or not whether restrooms are cleaned properly or not because the hygienic has to be maintained this and all taken care by the infrastructure coordinator and computer printer scanner everything stock verification every semester we need to go for a stock verification of the department internally and annually we can go to the stock verification across the department and month semester wise stock verification of the department is very very useful 
for the HODs to maintain it. And monitoring the lab and classroom cleanliness is a very, very important. Uh, never like uh, every time we cannot expect AYA to come and clean the classrooms and all because after all, the paper is dropped by student and we should educate them what is cleanliness, actually. We should educate humanity because AYA is also a human. So we should not punish them, give it dropping that and they'll mend the pencil and they'll throw the dust just underneath the table. Then immediately it has to be monitored and it has to be educated that you need not drop it, keep it in a paper, put it in a dustbin. So if that is the case, the things will be very clean, the environment will be very clean. Then when it comes to research coordinator, it's very important that each department have a research coordinator who's supposed to maintain the research data. That is number of proposals sent and the status of the, that is funding projects sent by the staff, funding projects sent by the student and conference and journal publication and patents, funded activities such as seminar, workshops, everything. These data has to be maintained. And also the research coordinator is supposed to regularly view the website of all the UGC, AICT and other funding agency that is DR, that is the DRDO, uh, then DST and all. And they should find the announcements and all. These announcements are supposed to be circulated in the department. And once they circulate in the department, they're supposed to identify who is going to take which form. And we found that many times what happened, there is a one set of people, they're always doing the research, uh, this for taking the funding, they're applying. Others are simply sitting and chatting. And sometimes they have extra time, they'll be mocking at the people. So this has been totally curved. So everybody has to involve in the something like a research. Then who is going to assign this work and all? Based on the verticals of the department, based on the expertise of the faculty member, this has been distributed and this will be taken care of by the research coordinator. And funding proposal, actually there should be a scrutiny committee for funding proposal. And this is supposed to be organized by the research coordinator and the proposal has to be presented before the expert committee they have to give. So you should have around two to three level of uh, proposal evaluations. And finally, the proposal has to be sent. And everything from the data of announcement of funding proposal till the dispatch, the research coordinator is supposed to have the tracking of each and every fund. And, and the research coordinator themselves supposed to organize motivation program, like how to write a good paper, how to write the proposal, how to write a pattern, and how to uh, select the best project, and how to convert our project into product, how to convert our project into papers. So this type of many research program, that is the seminar talks could be arranged by the research coordinator. And the research coordinator must organize international conference annually in the department. And when it comes to industrial linkage, uh, the policy of consultancy works has to be clearly defined with uh, discussing with the dean and the principal because you know that revenue sharing is come. And whether, whether it's purely something like an intelligence work, then 100% revenue sharing with the developer. Suppose, uh, suppose we are using the laboratories for the purpose, then 70% could be given to the uh, college and 30% uh, uh, amount could be given to the researcher, the person who is doing the consulting. So like that, there should be something like a policy has to be defined and it should be known to each and every faculty. Then not only they'll be happy to work. That is many people because finance is something which is really bothers and which encourages sometimes also. Then department-wise benchmark for consultation work. Actually, each department has to be fixed something like annually 2021. Each civil department, the consultancy work, huge consultancy could be taken. So naturally we can fix something like we, we need to generate minimum 10 lakhs worth of consultancy work. When it comes to electrical, uh, computer science, once again, software development and all it is possible. So we can something like uh, around uh, 15 to 20 lakhs worth of consultancy can be given as a benchmark. When it comes to electronics, once again, five to 10 lakhs could be given. Something like uh, biomedical and all where it is critical, little bit critical, at least three to four lakhs benchmark could be fixed. So like this, each and every department has to be fixed with a benchmark for the consultancy so that the department faculty will go to the industry, they spend time, they take up the consultancy. And industrial implant training has to be scheduled by the industrial linkage coordinator. Industrial visit, industrial tour supposed to be organized by industrial link linkage coordinator. 
internships should be paid or unpaid internships should be arranged by the industrial linkage and the industrial guest lecture when it comes to guest lecture the quality of the resource person and how many guest lecture this has to be clearly defined by the iqac and when it comes to internship or industrial visit industrial tour and i have we have seen that uh, in tamil nadu uh, most of the college they take the industrial visit uh, to uti i really do not know what is there in uti which industries are well actually i heard they say that always kodak industry kodak industry is closed 5 years before still people are planning and faculty is taking the students so that means there is nobody is there to control them whether they are really going for a visit uh, visit or industrial visit and if the iqac is exists and it will question that whether which industry what is the quantity what is the turnover how many employees and what is the salary gate what are the product who are all the vendors who are the distributor and which countries are importing that product based on that then we can say like okay the student can go to that industry because they get more knowledge about that and when the student goes and they show the perfect decorum of visiting the college the company also start thinking that okay well let us go to that college to recruit people so there should be a mutual benefit when you visit the industry but this will be planned by iqac this is what i want to tell and we should clearly define number of mous within the city because more the number of mous than more number of industrial linkage possible student can take more industrial projects they can take like this and all possible so and also very important thing is what is the outcome of mous because most of the college what i found is they execute mou with a photograph it is something like how the students are uh, conducting uh, student association inaugural function validatory function only two functions will be conducted no activities will be conducted by the student association similarly when we executing mou only mou signing function will be there afterwards we really do not know what is going on in using the mou actually this actually before executing the mou this person faculty is supposed to clearly define to the iqac that what are the outcomes of this mou how many industry guest lecture is possible how many industry project can be given by the industry and how many industrial visit permitted per year like this so everything and also we supposed to always give to department newsletter to this industry person they should actually they mean sometimes they may not read the newsletter but when it comes to every month every month on their desk or in their email they develop some curiosity that out of 400 engineering colleges one or two colleges keep on sending the information about the college they have little bit suppose there is a one opening or two opening they immediately their mind thinks only that college so it is psychological thing so and monitoring the industrial project should be done by industrial linkage coordinator then it comes to exam coordinator when it comes to exam coordinator i think it is a better you know that uh, it is a communications with university related exams is the work of exam planning and executing of all the exam like collecting the question paper and here the bloom stacks on a be has to be implemented the corpus question paper has to be scrutinized whether it meets the bloom stacks on a mean whether the quality index the question paper quality index has been met and it has to be calculated mathematically and if it is not met immediately it has to be rejected because when the aggregation committee comes we can simply say that our question paper is a quality one then they may ask the question how do you define the quality of the question paper because we can say bloom's taxonomy is implemented by looking at the uh, bloom's word we can action verbs we can immediately identify but how do we evaluate the core quality the quality can be calculated and and random verification of corrected process this is very important so that when the evaluation committee comes nac and nbi when they check the answer script and if they find the mistakes then total procedure will be wasted your total efforts will be wasted instead if iqc is taking care of all random verification corrections it is and allotment everything will be taken and publishing iam marks addressing student grievances like hi exam fees problem hall ticket issue problem course completion certificate these and all will be addressed by the exam coordinator and organizing the result analysis presented by hod and the template has to be given it has to be analyzed and the remedial has to be taken care and there is a one more coordinator is very important and very vital is a activity coordinator he is taking care of professional chapters there may be uh, two to three professional chapter in each department and each and every day chapter may be having each faculty but this and all totally 
governed and monitored by activity activity coordinator student activity association you should be having clear checklist these are number of activities they are conducting and the report has to be submitted financial report has to be everything will be checked co curricular activities extra curricular activities extension activities like nss yrs social responsibility initiative for society awareness act so like this and also we should encourage the activity coordinator supposed to send the information like uh, ibm design contest microsoft uh, design contest oracle design contest and all they should ensure that there should be a mentor and a team of students and they should check the each and every level whether what level they have entered something like idathan hackathon and all whether they have entered they have walked out at the first level and what is the problem whether the idea is not good whether students are not shown interest whether mentor is not showing interest so who is going to check all these things and all then activity activity coordinator supposed to take all these things and all and when it comes to website and newsletter mis coordinator hosting event is very very important because you know that our website is nothing but a window for our college so whatever we do it has to be published in our website and most of the time we forget and only during end of the semester because of admission season we start adding all the data into the website it should not be done actually you know that all the recruiters and all the parents are and everybody has a knowledge now so they keep on watching the websites and all if you keep giving information in the website okay it will be nice and updating the department information in the college website and maintain each department activity with a photograph and one page report this is very important because it is useful for your accreditation process and newsletter has to be at least fortnight or a monthly newsletter could or semester newsletter could be launched and the copy supposed to be given to the stakeholders even parents supposed given to the parents mainly parents recruiters and uh, guest and uh, people who came as for the guest lecture we should give so that they get a good impression about the department of the college and they supposed to maintain the department database hence they linked with our iqac and alumni scholarship and public relation coordinator they support to take care of alumni chapter activities like alumni guest lecture organizing the alumni reunion alumni book has to be maintained update the alumni feedback and uh, once you update the uh, alumni feedback you get the recruitment also through reference and update the academic and non academic information of the scholarship holder this has to be maintained it's very useful when the committee comes and come because nowadays uh, scholarship uh, agency is very serious because of digital uh, data and department supposed to have the complete data though the office is having and complete knowledge about various scholarships is available and at least you should ensure that one new scholarship scheme should be introduced to the student every year so that the no student will leave the education because of financial problem and when it comes to placement very important resume preparation it has to be prepared given arranging uh you they supposed to training suppose arrange a big exam because the communication is a biggest problem biggest threat actually so therefore big exam could be mandate minimum mandate cc plus plus certification technical certification train the students in communication gd aptitude training this and all we know that i am just uh, and the placement training coordinator is a legend officer between industry and institute actually there is a industry linkage coordinator also he is only talking in terms of academic development but this person is talking about career development so both are different and if placement coordinator handshake with industry linkage coordinator the work will be even more easier and placement through alumni reference mous is important and strength and weak this is fact has to be analyzed after that is a strength and weakness has to be analyzed after each campus strength generally we never do this most of the college 95% of the college is not doing this department level they never do that and if they if you identify the weakness of the student what we can do is at least we can make them to train that we can call the parent we can counsel him and we can make him to attend some courses so that he will be get through in the next day. and preparing the recruiters contact book and recruiters feedback and remedial action has to be taken and swag analysis student actually before actually in third year second year itself every year the swag has to be analyzed for the student 
and you should tell them this is your weakness these are the area where you can improve these are the area where you have a challenges these are your strength so you should ask so that student knows what are the area gray area in which he is supposed to improvise every semester and please do the swac analysis of the student and let have a that is through counseling let the student will understand this is my strength and weakness and all this will be taken care by training and placement coordinator arranging the placement day because where the parents are coming and visiting the college college in a positive manner so that they'll be happy and they'll be very proud to see his son getting the offer letter from this college and uh, this is about iqac i have given it in detail about iqac how i looked at iqac and i i worked for the last 8 years and uh, in my knowledge this uh, structure happened to be most successful uh, structure in wherever i worked i think now i think uh, now i will open for the question thank you sir welcome madam so really it was a wonderful session sir we can see here the participants has given very good response in the chat box and uh, today you have given in depth knowledge of internal quality assurance cell and how much it is important to the quality of any organization thank you very much sir welcome uh, so here few questions participants have asked uh, shall we proceed with that yes ma'am yes 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 uh, dr lata ma'am she asked institute conducts event under iqac is curricular uh, is co curricular and uh, extra curricular also the responsibility of iqac no iqac is not conducting any activities madam it is only a benchmarking agency actually it is something like suppose example let me take uh, uh, extension activities when it talk talk about extension activities it has to list out what are the extension activities something like a helmet awareness now corona awareness something like uh, uh, something like blood donation awareness and all and it gives the department that these are the program has to be conducted in the department it is the res and there is a coordinator that is iqac coordinator he'll discuss with the hod he'll identify the faculty and the faculty will be assigned the work because each faculty will be given only one work per year and if you have 12 faculty 12 activities would have been completed so i then iqc is giving a template in which these data has to be submitted to the iqc so that throughout the college if you take any document it will be in the same format and there won't be any confusion templates iqc is only giving the benchmarking the uh, activities in a quality and a quantity how many activities supposed to be conducted in what quality this activity has to be conducted and what is the form in which report has to be submitted and what way it has to be disseminated to the stakeholder this information will be given to them okay thank you sir okay. thank you sir uh, raghavendran sir uh, he asked is there a standard format for academic audit uh actually uh, something like uh, there is no international format or a, a national format for academic audit and all actually generally it is depending upon whom you are going to select as a dean iqac if he is really having a knowledge about all accreditation process naturally he'll take care of this format and all because uh, the iqac work is to design a common format uh, which is applicable for nba nac also and it also supplement nirf aqr everything on considering everything only this format has to be developed okay okay sir and another question badmavati ma'am uh, she asked how to check the quality that's what madam quality is defined by you first say example i already told you suppose packet development program you want to recommend us to a faculty for the faculty development program here quality means which institution is supposed to go first and who are all the resource person suppose uh, iit means you need not bother about that it's a quality people can be recommended suppose there is a x college but the college is not good but they would have they they got the sponsorship technical collaboration with some industry which is really good then quality is there 
then the certificate is given by the industry itself collaborative industry then the quality is there so this quality has to be defined by the college so it is something like uh, in uh, outcome based education attainment calculation when we talk about attainment calculation what we do is that target value will be fixed by the college itself some colleges fix that 50% as a target value because the quality of the college is only 50% so what was the quality some college will fix the uh, marks calculation 70 as a target because they know that everybody can get through 70 so this is how the quality will be defined but only thing is once you fix the quality don't decrease it you have to keep increasing over a time because the fixing the quality benchmark is replicate the quality of the college it replicate the quality of the faculty it replicate the quality of the department emotionally don't fix very high benchmark for any activities because first because once you doesn't have any quality uh, something like activity suddenly when you implement iqac the faculty members are reluctant to accept it always fix reachable goal once they reach the goal handshake them pat them then raise the quality benchmark having a discussion in the department and raise that okay uh, sir i don't know whether it is relevant to iqac but uh, chitra ma'am uh, she asked how to improve critical thinking skill yes madam actually uh, in my earlier college uh, i implemented for the earlier two colleges i implemented is critical but actually there are three concept which i implemented in uh, previous college one is seminar presentation case study presentation mini project presentation these are the three thing that the seminar presentation is mainly focused to improve their data collection communication expertise so that generally most of the college is doing but they are not doing seriously they simply say that how many are interested in seminar and formality sake for nac sake or nba sake they collect around 5 to 6 seminar topics they complete it it is not the case actually you should have a peer group each group have one peer leader and four subordinate put together give a task and critical thinking is nothing but case studies give a cases something like now example uh, covid problem give the prob actually i generally i used to give a simple example of uh, something like a demonetization actually if you are a finance man minister because everybody says that demonetization would have been done in a better way the last year in 9, 2019 everybody was talking like that now question is you give a task that if you are a finance minister how you would have solved this demonetization how you are you, you would have implemented the demonetization and when we go for the critical thinking or something like a case study send off don't ever think that the problem should be given with respect to the branch of engineering critical thinking is beyond that actually whether he supposed to analyze actually the major difference between a seminar and a case study is seminar you are not going to conclude anything you are going to decimate knowledge your communication your body language plays a vital role in seminar that's all and your knowledge collection that's all but critical thinking that is a, a case studies means how you are giving a beautiful solution to the problem the the submission the actually for the same problem you have multiple solution but how far he is able to collect the data and stand on his result actually here he is not giving the data he is giving the result for that he is giving a justification evidences that's all so this is how the case studies has to be taken that is how the critical thinking has to be and uh, initially uh, what we did is because uh, the college where i worked earlier is a rural college and we never insisted them to speak only in english because critical thinking means it is a thought process supposed to come out from his mind so when you insist for them to speak in english he focus he give more importance to the language than the content content delivery okay but in seminar we should give importance to the language critical thinking he supposed to speak in native language also only thing is how he is able to analyze the complex problem is a condition so this has to be understood by the college any more 
anymore. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yeah. Any more questions? Yes, sir. Questions are there, sir. Yeah. Uh, one second, sir. Sir. Uh, one second, sir. One second. Yeah. Question number two. Sir, is IQSC follow NBA or NAC format? Uh, because different formats for NIRF, SSR, NBA, and NAC. LICA, CT, etc. Because same information we are replicating multiple formats. How exactly. to avoid it? Yes, madam. It's a beautiful question actually. I am against to having NAC format and NBA format. Actually, NAC and NBA never ask or never give any format for file system. Reduced. Everybody must. There is a totally confusion, a wrong information conveyed and prevails everywhere. IQAC is supposed to take care of NBA parameters, metrics, NAC metrics, SAR, SSR, and all. They should understand thoroughly and they have to understand it properly. And also, then you have to actually you have to keep the database centralized, having all this data. And file system should be unique. Whether NBA is coming or NAC is coming, same file should become. Only thing is you should have a template. Something like criteria one in NBA is a different in criteria one of NAC. That's all. But you should have a merging of file number. This file number in ten is criteria one of NAC. Three to four is a criteria one of NBA. Have the template and train the faculty. So when they are asking about this criteria, and most of the time we have seen that expert member they never ask. Show me the file for criteria one. They never ask this question. It's a wrong concept, actually. They, they never ask this question. They say that you, they never ask any question. You have to show what you have done and all. So the IQSC has to take intelligent decision that the file has to be centralizedly maintained and file system has been numbered properly across the department, uniformly across the department. And they should correlate this file number with respect to NBA criteria. Second thing is, most of the college does the biggest blunder is appointing a NAC coordinator and NBA coordinator. There should not be any NAC coordinator. Actually, when you go for a NBA, you are selecting NBA coordinator one person. And within one, one year, you are going for a NAC, then you say that another person has a NAC coordinator. There should not be any NAC and NBA coordinator because you know that there is a steering committee member. And everything will be taken care by HOD only. And you are regularly following a formatting as directed by IQAC. You need not go for any extra preparation for any file system. So if you have, if you give that confidence, all the faculty will try to maintain the file happily. Only when you repeat the file, the faculty get annoyed. And most of the college they make unnecessary tension to the faculty member in the name of file system. They replicate, they Xerox lot of same document, they Xerox for NAC, they Xerox for NB also. Say, they say that it is easy for us to show to the committee members. It is not necessary actually. Any more? Uh, yes, sir. Um, from Valsraj, from Manipal, as per the criteria of NAC, institute to detail and follow up process for slow learners and fast learners. Mm. So how to process it? Actually, uh, I, actually, most of the time we identify the slow learners only based on the marks. First of all, is wrong. Actually, as per NAC and NBA, slow learner should not be identified based on the marks alone. Slow learner means he is a 
something like emotional intelligence may not be there. He is also slow learner, and slow learner means not only in a subject. He must be slow learner. He need a counselling. He must be sent to training division where he is supposed to speak, because he might now you might you would have come from a uh, native language uh, study. So he may not be in expressing in front of because most of the engineering college having a co-ed system. So naturally, the most of the girls they're reluctant or hesitant to speak in English because they think that the language is poor. Or most of the boys they're reluctant to speak in give answer though they know that. So that time he is also slow learner. He need a counselling and the remedial measures means it is only conducting classes in the after college as a centre. That is not only the remedial measure. So slow learner supposed to identify subject wise, emotion wise, and other because there may be a student who is not showing any interest in attending any activity. Then he is also slow learners. Then he need a counselling. So that slow learner has to be and advanced learner means he will be good in and he is participating. And fairly good, doing good in ac ac academics. Then you should encourage him to go for idea thon. You should encourage him go for hackathon. You should encourage them go for something a like design contest. And you should uh, involve him in your research, and uh, and take that small part of your project. Ask him to go and present in other college. So this is the activities could be given to the advanced learners. Uh, sir, actually we have many 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 questions, sir. No matter. Uh, Okay, uh, sir, can you please give some information about Institute Interaction Cell? Uh, Institute Interaction Cell is nothing but something like an industrial linkage, uh, where I already given information that uh, each and every because ultimately our product supposed to go to industry. It's very simple. We train the student only for the industry purpose, because uh, it is not something like we train a girl students to get get her married. It is not the, our purpose. Our purpose is whether it's a boy or a girl, he's supposed to get into industry. So industry exposure is very important. The first prime work of industry institute partnership is they have to take the students to the right industry as an industrial visit. They should train the student in the name of industrial uh, implant training, and they should give a confidence that they can be capable of developing a product on their own through internship. Then finally, when they come to the final year, we can give a good project. And such project, we should ensure that that project will be highly appreciated by the industrialists, and it has to be showcases in design contests and all. So this is one set of industrial linkage. Second set is having MOU because having explaining about our department, we are going to have a MOU with industry. Then we should have a constant touch with the industry people. Either the staff members and students can go and work there during their vacation time. Our industry people, if they need something like a uh, subject upgradation, they can take the help of the department we are, because we are good in teaching subjects. So we can go and train the uh, industry people in the latest technology and we can come back. So this is the another type of industry linkage. Third industry linkage is a consultancy. This is also industry linkage. We will go and get trained in the industry and uh, we'll identify there is a problem in some system and all. we'll ask the owner of the company that this is the problem. Can I develop this product and give it to you? And we'll develop the prototype in the college and we'll show the product up to the company people. When they're happy, they're investing money and they go with the real product. And this is another third inter. So when it comes to the last stage, is the high, the one which is expected by the NBA and math people. Uh, sir, yes. uh, is graduate attributes has to be measured with respect to course or program? Madam, actually, as far as the attribute graduate, attribute, there are two type of uh, measurement. One is called, uh, 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 there are three uh, feedback has to be course uh, feedback as that is a course end. At the end of each semester, you have to take a feedback. Like uh, how is the course send off? You have to take the feedback. How is the course and uh, what is the condition and all? And uh, second thing is uh, at the end of uh, fourth year, you have to take that is a uh, course exit survey. You have to take and uh, course exit survey. These attribute has to be asked as a questionnaire. There, actually, what I found in many colleges, they write something like whether they are happy with the subject and whether they are happy with the teaching, whether they are happy with the faculty. 
these are not the question to be asked in a course exit survey course exit survey supposed to have the question 12 attributes supposed to be asked with the question and when the alumni comes to college after 3 years actually uh, your actual survey supposed to be after that is a your graduate attribute survey supposed to be taken after 3 to 4 years after 3 to 4 years if any alumni come to the college once again this graduate attributes has to be asked as a alumni survey that time he is telling that because there are some question that uh, whether he is able to solve real problem whether he is able to do the real what he learned some tools and all whether he is able to implement in industry and all that is possible so therefore these surveys are very important apart from that we can add flavor like whether the faculty is coming to regular the class whether faculty is come with uh, good preparation whether you are able to understand whether faculty is able to solve the Uh, clarify the doubt these and all extra question to be asked this is extra question which is required for us to uh, understand faculty punctuality that is extra question but actual question is to be taken only from the attributes thank you sir uh, dr prakash amc principal uh, asked in affiliated college many of the teaching staff focus on academics research and development is certainly not on the prime focus but for nac accreditation criteria 3 plays a major role in getting a or a++ grade in accreditation yes madam actually as far as the private college is concerned where most of the people think that in the indian scenario teaching means it is only taking classes that's all okay. and when we are insisting for research when we insist for getting fund they'll argue that i have joined only for taking classes i am not a researcher i am not in a research center people are mistaken that education center need not be research center actually when you think about abroad and all each in most of the fundamental research or advanced research takes place not in industry it takes place only in university only in india now only the awareness has come so nac and nda they are bringing the awareness that each and every packet i always says that each faculty supposed to take two area one is teaching is a basic for that we have recruited that is a mandatory that is not a responsibility that is a inbuilt he is supposed to take classes he has to take class very well and students supposed to enjoy it you should use the pedagogy method that's a basic thing apart from that he has to give a two option whether he supposed to get into research or a consultancy suppose if he is not inter inter it is something like how we select the people for cricket in cricket and all in olden days when we talk about gavaskar he doesn't know how to bowl he doesn't know how to keep the wickets he good in bat and when we talk about something like a kirmani he is not good at bat he know how to keep the wickets and those days are gone today why we like dhoni because he keep the wicket perfectly he bat and sometimes he bowl and even tendulkar he bat he fields he bowl also sometimes shevak he bat bowl and field also only such people the all rounders are requested so all the field nowadays change so even the faculty is supposed to be the all rounder it is not that i am good in teaching that is my bread and butter i am not interested in research i am not in so that cannot be taken up so future recruitment will go like this you are good in only teaching uh, this will be taken because that will be trained but research thing and consultancy whether you want to get trained in industry take some work and work for the industry generate the fund you will share the fund with the college and also you second one is take the funding from the funding agency and develop the laboratories develop yourself and do that so this is very essential and that's the reason why now nirf ranking is only concentrated on you are research and consultancy based on that only you can go up in the ranking if that most of the colleges uh, something like uh, autonomous as far as the result actually when you take the teaching learning it will be analyzed only with the result in autonomous college the result is declared by the college itself then how do you say that most of the college is declaring almost like 80% result 90% percent doesn't mean that all can be equated no even sometimes iit is giving result only 70% and that autonomous college is giving result more than 85% is that college is better than iit no when it comes to quality of the college the quality lies on the research activities taking place in the college and the consultancy work only 
So that is going to be a future. So all the youngsters should ensure that either you select research as your focused area or a consultancy as your focus area. I think I've answered. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, is a template for all documents of the file will be given by the IQAC. It's asked by Janita, madam. Yes, madam. No template has to be developed by the department because you lose the uniformity. Template, suppose if you have a good idea about the template, the correction from the template could be given by the department and it has to be corrected only by IQAC. Only control document will be sent from the IQAC only. Only IQAC control doc, that's why all the document will be underneath. That is a, in a header, uh, the footer, it mentioned that IQAC stroke version number. Okay, sir. And uh, Dr. Shashi Shankar, sir, asked, is it necessary to have just enough faculty strength as per academic timetable, um, as per the credits for truthful execution of consultancy R&D and FDP sponsor, etc. See, actually, whether it is up to, uh, actually, it's a very simple, uh, very trivial question. Actually, we are not supposed to talk in this form because it's a management decision center. As per an AECT, once they said that is one is to twenty, and now they've changed once again. We have to within two years we have to go back to one is to fifteen as a student staff ratio. It is not that uh, if uh, many college now decided that if the number of subjects uh, is depending upon the faculty, two each faculty is supposed to have two theory. That's all the that's how the recruitment policy now changed. If they are having sufficient faculty handle all the theory they stop the recruitment. And uh, generally workload, whether you have one is to 15 or one into 20, the workload will be remaining same. That is two theory, one lab, or two theory, two laboratories and all. It is you to decide where the times comes. Actually, when you see IIT, the professors never do the research during academic time. They, you should understand that. You should understand that. Because they stay in the campus, their work starts only after five o'clock the research work and it goes up to time. It is something like how industry people work up to eight o'clock because their work never stops at five o'clock, four o'clock bell end. Okay. As far as Indian education system is concerned, it's totally wrongly pre pretended because initially we never give import to the research center because we thought research development will be concern of industry. And most of the time we thought that technology could be uh, imported from foreign countries. Now only Digital India made in India by the government. It's a good initiation made us and they're pumping the huge fund for taking up work and all funding and uh, uh, industry start a uh, startup and all. So naturally what happens is academic time nine to four, if it is academic time, during academic time, we cannot do research or a consultancy. You should stay back one or two hours extra and you have to work in the laboratories. So if you use that strategy, then only you can come up in your profession. And second thing is, uh, in abroad, at least 10 to 20% of their salary, they reinvest on their profession. But we never, even for textbook, we always go for a complimentary book. We fight for the complement book, whether we use or not. And most of the complement book is a low quality quantity book, and we keep it on the table. And if the good book, they never give us a compliment. If the book comes from IEEE or Elsevier, they never give compliment. We never purchase also. So you should have a no, I, I neither we go to the library, we say that everything is available in internet, why should have? And how far are we going to see the net? How, how many people we are studying the material from the computer? We never, because radiation, it slowed down your memory and also your concentration. If it is a book, you can sit or sit in the corner or you can go sit in the garden I can get in, read the books and all. So reading book is a good practice and it is good practice for your children also. And spending extra hour after college hours exclusively for research as consultancy is a good idea. Could be considered. Not in academic time. Uh, so, so the last question is, so what is the role of technical person in IQAC? IQAC itself is a technical person. Yeah. It's a technical college. <laughs> uh, we engineers actually, because uh, technology, 
should be coming. See, when we construct a house, we say that we need to have construct a quality quality house, is it not? So when we are expecting a quality house, the constructed the design engineer is supposed to be a quality person. If a design engineer is supposed to be a quality person, he must be studied in a quality college. When he studied in a quality college, the college is supposed to be quality. If the college is supposed to be quality, the faculty is supposed to be quality one. If the college faculty is a quality, there should be quality environment in the department. There should be a quality benchmarks in each and every process execution. And finally, this is possible only when there is an IQC. And that too, if the IQC is given an autonomous job, and most of the time what happens, we create an IQC, it will be under the direction of principal. IQC should not be under the direction of principal. It is a uh, something like a contemporary area. It is a parallel to principal. It's a very hard to understand and hard to accept also. Any more? Uh, almost we have covered all the queries of participants, sir. You have patiently answered all the questions. You can share my here. email, madam. If they have any doubt, they can send the main question in the main. Okay, sure, sir. You can announce uh, that. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. Is there any, anything else you want to cover, uh, address the participants, sir? No, madam. Thank you for patient hearing and thanks for you for giving me this opportunity and thanks for everyone because they are, I think we spend around uh, two hours I, uh, yes, I think sir. Still people are uh, listening, hopefully, because webinar is yes, something sir. trivial. There is no quality could be implemented in webinar uh, because we don't know whether they switch on and they have gone for their work or something else. Still, I no, believe sir, that, <laughs> still I believe that people are there and I really, uh, really grateful people who listen all my conversation because it is something like uh, when students are listening, the teachers will be very happy. Is it not better? Similarly, when they speaker speaks and uh, audit, uh, audience listen and they interact. It's the biggest gift I think. I'm really happy with you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. thank you, sir. And we have come to the end of this webinar. Uh, so it gives me a great pleasure to propose a vote of thanks. Uh, first, on behalf of management, AMC Engineering College, I would like to thank our guest speaker Dr. S. Purnachandram for being kind enough to accept our invitation deliver lecture in this webinar. Thank you for spending your valuable time with us, sir. We are grateful for the time and effort you took uh, to share your thoughts and experience with us today. For all the developing institution entering into the new growth phase, uh, your comments will be very timely. I believe participants can benefit immediately from the methods you have suggested for their institution's quality assurance. So once again, I thank you, sir. Uh, on behalf of Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, I thank uh, Mr. Raghul, uh, Executive Vice President, AMC City Group of Institution, for his constant encouragement support for the smooth conduction of this webinar. I extend my sincere thanks to our beloved principal, Dr. A.G. Nadraj, our HOD, Dr. N.V. Umaradi for their guidance and valuable suggestion to make this event grand success. A special thanks to our webinar coordinator, Professor Mustaq Ahmed, Department of CAC, for his effort to make all the arrangements for this webinar. So finally, I thank all the participants from various educational organizations for their active involvement. Once again, I thank everyone for joining us for the today's webinar. Um, thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir. And uh, if they need any help, of, if they need any help, I am ready to come to their campus and I can help them installing. IQ. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure, sir. We are expecting, sir. And we have shared the contact details of uh, uh, our guest, uh, guest speaker, and uh, even coordinated details. If anything, uh, any doubt in, for in future, you can contact without any hesitation. So thank you so much, sir, for your time. Thank you. Thank you.